Hello, everybody. Um, trying out a new setup tonight. Hopefully, you'll be able to see good and hear good. Let me know if there's any problems with the sound. I have a microphone hooked up um, and a camera, so I'm trying to. Sorry about that. I'm trying to set it to where you can see what we're working on. So what we have, I know I showed pictures a week or maybe two ago about this stool that was um, in need of a lot of love. So we took it apart, dismantled it, and um, I went ahead and signed, sanded it down because it was just so um, so in need of love, we'll say. So it's ready. It's been cleaned. It's ready to be painted. And what we're going to do is use i have these burlap coffee sacks that i got and i'm going to use one of these to be the um the top of it I'm not sure which one leave me a comment what you think which part of it can you see that which part or which one should be the stool this one just has like different graphics and prints on it and then I have another one I have a few of them that have colors too but I wanted to do one with just the black and the burlap and these also have the numbers printed on these these ones say Houston everybody knows I love me some Texas um, and y'all know these smell good right anybody that knows me knows the burlap is not my friend but I bought these to try because I have vision. So you got to go with your vision, right? So just let me know which one of those you think um, would work. What you think. And what I'm going to do for the base, I'm going we're going to be painting it the um, Southern Belle Decorative Paint, of course, in Southern Belle Blue. That's the shade we're using. And I didn't bring my paint. Hold on one second. What I usually do when I'm painting is I have these little containers that I pour my paint out in so that if I get interrupted, have to leave and come back, then I have my paint already poured. It don't get dried out. It's not on a palette um, or whatever. <clears throat> and that usually helps me. So we're going to start painting on this, and then we're going to talk about this sign in a few minutes because I'm, I'm thinking we might have to do us a giveaway, but I need y'all's help before we can make that decision. So all you do is just dip it and start painting. It's that easy, y'all. Not sure if we'll have to do a second coat or not. This, this color, um, you know, some of the colors in all paints, just um, cover differently. You just kind of have to work with it and get the look that you want. Just put some paint on it, right? Love it with paint. I love to do me some paint. Don't matter what kind of day I'm having, what kind of moment I'm having. If I just get me a piece of wood and start painting, it usually settles me right down. And then there's those days when you're just all riled up and you don't want to be settled down. So I don't paint those days. What do y'all do to um, get settled down when you get riled up? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Southern Bell Decorative Paint. And this color is Southern Belle Blue. Isn't it pretty? One of my faves, as you all have figured out by now. They're all my faves, but this is one of the faves. And the brush that I'm using is, um, actually, we got these from um, Fitties. And this is a one and a half inch oval brush. Um, these sell for 21 I think I have one more in stock down at Peddler's Place. And then, of course, we put the paint pixie brushes down there today. Put some more. The three new colors. Did y'all see those new colors that we posted earlier today? Don't forget, I need to know 
what y'all think about the um which burlap we should use to cover this thing this this poor little stool was pitiful looking y'all i'll have to try to find the before picture and um post it post it in the comments y'all remember this um new workstation that that my man built for me right notice i have the paper on here because i am messy i'm not a clean painter i'm a messy painter he's in there painting the living room tonight and he won't have as much paint spilt as me doing this little stool and he's doing walls that's how he's spending his father's day weekend what y'all's plans for father's day y'all have big plans This looks like it's covering pretty good, but I'm probably going to let it dry and I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat just because I want to have full coverage on this one. And then we'll, um, not sure if I'll use the Southern Bell Shine, which is the top coat. It has a um, satin finish or if I will use the wax. I'm not sure yet what I'll do. This would probably be good to um, just do the wax on. I'm not going to do any dark wax or anything because I just wanted to have this solid color. It's so pretty. I think that pop of blue out from under the um, the burlap cushion will be nice. Don't forget to um, please share our page and invite your friends to like us. We're just under 400 likes. Mm -hmm. We have our, our next goal to do a big giveaway is going to be 500 likes. We're, we'll get there quickly. I appreciate everybody watching and all your help. I'm not going to do all the top of this right here because this is where the, um, the pad and the cushion is going to be to cover it. Mm -hmm. all. I think I will go ahead. I'll do the under parts. Some people don't do the under parts. I guess it just depends on the piece. I'm not sure. To me, it just sometimes I have a hard time with that because I need something to be complete. You know what I'm saying? I'll post a link in the comments too for our, um, my YouTube channel if you don't mind going over there and subscribing too. I'm putting these videos over there, so they'll probably be easier to find there. But I'm going to try to get that channel going, too. So we'll be able to be found in both places, right? Everybody's everywhere all the time, y'all. All right. Now this is what is lovingly referred to. I'm not going to pick it up because it's still wet. I use baby wipes while I'm painting. Get that paint off my fingers when I'm touching stuff because uh, there's paint on probably every piece of furniture in our house that don't belong. <laughs> so the first coat is what we lovingly call the first ugly coat. But then we're going to put that second coat on there and it's going to smooth it out. It's going to be nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then I have to figure out, I think what I'll do is take a um, piece of maybe plywood or um, maybe like a 1 by 8 or 1 by 12, whatever the measurements are. I don't remember what the measurements are, but um, cut that and attach the cushion and then the burlap to cover it. So I'll do, I'll try to remember and do all that live so you can see the whole finished product from start to finish. So, while that's drying, let's talk about this. I haven't done the back of this yet. Patrick actually, this was the first thing he painted when we got the paint in. Um, this is painted, this gray is a nice soft gray. It's called Norfolk Nod. And this was the first color that he painted with, and he this is what he chose. He painted this. We just put the color on and kind of left it. We haven't finished the back yet. 
Um, it already has the little, I think that's called like a keyhole slot for hanging, makes it easy to hang. And um, so what I was thinking what we could do with this on one of our videos is um, let's do some stenciling. I know that was one of the requests is for me to do some stenciling. So let's do that together. What do you think would be good to put on here? What kind of stencil, what word or message do you think would be a good idea? to put on here. And what color do you think? Um, we have Anchors Away Navy. It's a nice dark navy. Patrick's peeking around the corner. The navy would look good or we could do um, a bright blue or a white. Um, there he is. Oh wait, I was in it. I'm trying to look at this. Say thing. hey. No. Hey, hey. Hold on. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> anyway, what do y'all think? What um, what stencil should we do for this? And we'll do that live, and then when we get it finished and sealed, we'll do a giveaway with this. We'll have to decide um, how to work out the, the giveaway. This will be my first official giveaway on here, but give me some ideas of what you think and what colors. I know the cotton top white is like a really bright, nice, clean white. That would look good on it. Or the navy would look good. Or dark gray or pink or green. What color do you think? I wasn't really listening. You started it. What did I start? To do a stencil on this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Patrick's going to be 16 in a couple weeks. That's what we've been doing around here. Things being chaotic. Trying to get ready for the party. Yeah. Yay. He's excited. He just don't want you to know that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Can you tell? It dries pretty fast. There's still some wet spots on here where I was. I'm pretty heavy handed when I paint, y'all. That's true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little bit. And Jonathan requested brownies for Father's Day. So I'm going to go make some brownies and I'll come back in just a little bit and do the second coat and see how it looks. Um, don't forget, let me know what you think we should do a stencil of and the color and which burlap. Y'all got a lot of decisions to make tonight. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in just a little bit, y'all. Bye.